Hi again, this is coach Tony Morgan and today's ball we're looking at is the Ariston Euro Combi. Now this Euro Combi comes in two sizes, it comes in a 23 and a 27 kilowatt. It's a standard efficiency combi boiler. Now this ball is quite an old one, you don't see much of these but I'm going to go over it with you because some guys may not have seen it or might be might not be familiar. Now one of the first things what you may struggle on is taking the case off. So to remove this case what you do we go to the side of it here you can grab it by here and on the other side and just lift it up just this front part only. That just lifts up and then you can remove it. it. Hangs on these little lugs like that on each side, and that's what you do. Now, to lower this panel down, the best thing to do is get underneath the boiler. And I've already removed the screws, there's one here and one on the other side here. Remove that, push the sides out a bit like that. And then you can then pull this down. It's a bit stiff, but you can pull it down, and that will lower down towards you like a hinge. So you will now get this effect. I'm just going to go over the parts on this boiler, and um, you might be familiar with them. So, the first thing we're going to look at this is the diverter valve here. In this section here is the diaphragm. So if you don't get no water, this could be one of your problems. On the end of the diverter valve, you've got this micro switch assembly. I'll just move it out of the way so you can see it better. So a pin pushes out and makes that switch caused by the diaphragm and these pipes. On the diverter valve, you've got this sensor here. This is a central heating thermistor. Just above that, you've got the overheat thermostats. Behind there, you've got the plate heat exchanger for the hot water. Then on the other side, you've got the pressure leaf valve. And then you've got the central heating pump. You've got the gas valve, this is a sit gas valve. And then on the front of that you've got the spark igniter, ignition unit. This goes up to the spark electrodes. Then inside here you've got the control PCBs. You've got two PCBs, one on this side and one on the other. One of them does the ignition, the fan, and the other one does the low voltage side of things. This is the pump proving switch. So when the pump pumps, it pushes out a pin, makes a micro switch inside here, tells the boiler that's water in the boiler, and then you've got ignition, and then it carries on with the functionality. So as I said before, this is the spark electro lead and this is the spark electrodes and then you've got the flame sensing electrode next to it. Inside there you've got the main heat exchanger and you've got the burner. This is the fan unit and the air pressure switch. These tubes go to this Venturi and I think that's about it in this chamber. As I said it's just a standard efficiency boiler so the burner lights, hot gases go up, get sucked through the fan, out the flue and out. There are your sensing points for your analysing and your Checking the oxygen.
the flue integrity. So that's the main parts of this boiler. Something to note, um, on these old boilers when you take the combustion cover off, you can see uh, the clip is broken. So that's one that's intact. Again that one's broken and that one's intact. So it's good to have some of these in your box, in your toolbox. You can get them from like car spares, shops. So that's a new one I'm going to put on. So as I said, a little tip, carry these with you. So um, we've got another, well it's a bit of a problem. And the problem is, is the customer said it was uh, making like a chattering noise, which I heard myself. And the boiler's fired up now, and what it's been, the noise has come from this area here. This is called a modular egg. So what happens on these older boilers, when they get up to temperature, and it's starting to modulate down, you get a chattering noise coming from here. And it's usually that the sensor is the problem. So what happens, when the sensor sends the voltage to the board, the board then sends voltage to the modular egg and the voltage gets a bit erratic and makes it chatter. So when you hear that chattering noise, especially it's been on for quite a long time, on these older type standard efficiency boiler, it's usually the primary sensor, which this is the primary sensor here, which is at fault. This is the old one, what I just replaced a minute ago. Just going over the controls on the front of the boiler. This is for the ignition lockout, so that's a reset button basically. So you've got, this is your selector switch for heating and hot water. Your control dials, potentiometers for central heat and hot water. And that's your on off switch, pressure gauge and your timer. Just a quick tip, if you want to get this front panel off here, what you have to do, you have to pop out this here like this and then down that screw, down that hole is a screw. Oh, you can see it from the other side here. Not difficult to see. So if you look through that, yeah, it is there. That's a screw. Same with that. Pop that out. Once you do undo them screws, then this bottom panel will then come down, and that will get you to other parts of the PCB if you need to. Well, this is going to be the end of this video. So if you've got any comments or questions, give me a shout, and I'll see you on the next video.